Hi everyone. Um, today I'm going to be doing a, a simple project, but um, a nice one. Um, I have two little girls, eight and four, and over the years um, there's been many Halloweens where they've been fairy princesses and this and that. And um, I have made my, my, my oldest daughter, when she was younger, I made her a fairy um, godmother, a fairy godmother, <laughs> a fairy costume. Um, and part of that costume was making her a crown of roses. Now, obviously, on, you know, day-to-day -day life, they're not going to walk around wearing a crown of roses. <laughs> but um, my, my youngest daughter found the costume the other day, and she really, really loved the, um, the crown of, of flowers. So what I wanted to do was take a simple um, headband and decorate it using I Am Roses so that she can wear it around in her hair and um, not look like a crazy person wearing a crown. <laughs> so um, these are just basic wire headbands and I've got, I got these ones at the dollar store. Um, it says on the back that they're made by Artcraft and on the front it says just basic. And that's exactly what they are, basic wire headbands. Um, there's two of each color, two black, two silver, and two gold. Uh, normally I'm not a big fan of gold, but my daughter's hair is like a golden brown color, so um, this will sort of uh, disappear in her hair, and all that will be left is the roses on top, which is what I want. However, um, if you're doing this at home, you could quite easily um, decorate the um, sides of the headband with pearls, like so, or you could even take... Um, some ribbon which I happen to have right here and you could wrap the ribbon around the headband like just almost the same exact same you would as um, as you would for floral wire like so and um, do it that way I'm not gonna do the whole thing because I don't want that on my headband or you could take a, a really pretty um, skinny piece of lace and put it along along the edge. I actually do have a really nice one that would probably look really nice. Um, but for today, all I want to show on my daughter's hair is the roses. So the, these particular roses I'm using are um, code R3-15 and I will put a link to the website and, and these specific flowers in the description. Um, I find these to be the perfect size for her teeny weeny little head and um, before doing it I, I did, you know, place the headband on her hair and sort of, you know, um, modeled where I wanted the flowers to go and, and saw how it looked. So I believe the final um, decision was six roses. So I'm going to start out with six. Um, now you can color these any color you want using your Lindy Stamp Gang, your Glimmer Miss. Um, Rena did a really nice video on how to color your I Am Roses using um, acrylic paint. Um, and she had some really pretty colors too. So, but I'm just going to leave mine white because uh, my daughter's starting school in September and there's a dress, a uniform, and, um, sh and she'll be wearing white. So, um, so I'm going to keep the roses white for now. And if you uh, create the headband and ever decide that you should want to change the color, it's really easy because these are just straight metal. Um, it's really easy to change the color of the flowers afterwards if you should change your mind. Now, for this particular project, I will be cutting off all the wires right at the base, like so. And these roses are very, very, um, very stiff and very, very strong. They're not... Uh, flimsy by any means, so they should stand up really well to, to wear and tear on the headband. I'm going to take my first flower, and I'm going to leave the green parts on the bottom because I think it kind of adds to the whimsy sort of look. Now don't use too much glue because you don't want globs of glue on the headband. And I'm going to place my first flower right in the middle. like so. I'm just going to hold it there for a minute. You'll have to excuse my nails. I'm working on a Mother's Day project that has me inking and scratching and 
Okay, so that one's right in the middle, and this way I can tell quite easily um, by building outwards uh, where my flower should go, and this will keep it even and well balanced. Okay, now our last flower. Okay, so now we have all our flowers glued on, and now what I'm going to do is turn it over, and just underneath here, I'm going to put a little piece of um, ribbon, which is the precise thickness of the band and the flowers, just to cut, give it a nice clean um, finish underneath. You won't see that once it's... Um, on somebody's head, but um, I like to just finish it up, make it, give it a nice clean look. I'll glue it right up to the end and then I'll trim off the axis. Okay, so there it's finished underneath. Um, I just put a piece of ribbon there just to keep it nice and, and tidy. You won't see that when it's on uh, somebody's head anyway. And um, on top is the six flowers that um, I decided was, well, actually it's seven flowers. There's one in the middle and then three and then three. Um, which I decided was a good amount for her head. So coming up will be pictures of um, my daughter wearing the headband so that you can see what it looks like.